My name is Dave Park and I'm the uh, president of the Cellulose and Sugar Producers uh, Cooperative. And uh, I guess first I, I would like to tell you kind of what, uh, what got me interested in this, uh, in this project. Uh, really uh, what it was about was uh, building a market for an underutilized uh, crop residue. I wouldn't say control, but more costly to manage in the fall following uh, you know, uh, some of our high yielding corn uh, that we've experienced uh, the last four or five years in, uh, in southwestern Ontario. Um, you know, some of these new, uh, new varieties of corn, they don't break down like they used to. They're bred to uh, have good standability um, and good stock strength. So with, uh, with solving that problem, we've uh, created another one, and that's uh, trying to get uh, consistent stands of uh, uh, no-till soybeans following, uh, you know, a, a, a heavy corn crop. Uh, so that's what, uh, that's what got uh, me interested in this project and uh, what I think will you know, get a lot of farmers uh, in the community interested in this project because it's, uh, it's about building a market and uh, also uh, moving ourselves up the, uh, up the value chain because uh, we've, uh, we've come to an agreement with Comet Biorefining to, uh, to build a joint business plan and, and then also be owners in the, in the plant. So not only will we get paid uh, for our stover that we supply the plant, we'll also get a portion of the proceeds uh, out uh, from the, the sale of the sugar from uh, Comet Bio Refining. So. At this stage, uh, the excitement is really starting to build and uh, an important step is to uh, demonstrate uh, the field activities and uh, follow, these, uh, follow this up with uh, some town hall meetings explaining uh, how it is that farmers can uh, participate in this opportunity to help build a market for corn stover and uh, turn it into uh, marketable cellulosic sugars.